This is a Windows Phone 7 game review of Annexation, which is available in the marketplace for free or for $1.29. So this game is a little strategy game and has a number of different options. You can play with up to four people or a minimum of two people and you can set the AI difficulties or play with other humans if you want. Those are all configurable there. And you also have different options for the board. You can make it small, medium, large and change the whole shape of the pieces which really do change up the gameplay and you have three different visual styles but I'd say default is the best looking so let's jump into a new game here and you'll see how this game works so what you do is you start off in the upper left corner or bottom right or bottom left depending on which player you are and you can click on any of the colored cells that are adjacent to yours which is selectable down at the bottom and you cannot click colors that the other enemies have already picked right now so like I couldn't pick orange even if I was next to it so there is some strategy there that you could use and you could think oh how could I screw over my enemy there by picking maybe pink then he wouldn't have anywhere to go so there is some logic to the game but typically when I played it I found that basically all it boils down to is just clicking the pieces that are most common around you and I really didn't find that it had that much strategy to it so that was a little unfortunate but it is still kind of fun to play another issue however is it doesn't properly support leaving the game because if we leave here and we go do something respond to a text message and come back it'll just stall right there and that dotted line will keep on going and it freezes up there so the only way to get it back going is to leave the game and then click continue game and then it'll pick up like normal so that could probably be fixed pretty easily by the developer but it's something that needs to be fixed and also the game in the settings doesn't let you properly change your characters names I've tried to change my name before here, but it just keeps on resetting to player one, which can be a little confusing if you're trying to play with multiple people. You'll just have to remember your name instead of actually remembering or actually just seeing your name at the end. So at the end of the game, it's going to say player one one, but you're kind of wondering like, wait, which one was player one? So that's another thing that needs to be fixed, but... Overall, the core gameplay works pretty well, and I'll show you some of the other different game modes with these Varani ones. These are basically just completely random little shapes, so we'll have to start a new game for that to take effect. So those are just kind of um, random little tiles, and basically the same type of game. So, like I said before, the game really doesn't have that much strategy to it, even though I thought there could be with trying to strategically pick colors that would screw over your enemy, but it really doesn't have that much. Maybe if I turn on the full best AI, it'd be kind of difficult, and then it could become pretty fun. But overall, unless you're a real big fan of this game, I personally don't find it that interesting, really. But it is nice that you can play with local multiplayer up to four people so you can actually hang out with your friends and play this game and get them into it too. And the gameplay overall is pretty good. It'd be nice if they could make these animations quicker. I tried disabling both the animations, but it still takes like six seconds of waiting here between turns, which does become pretty painfully slow when you're trying to play this game. That was actually almost ten seconds there. So that also needs to be improved because it just gets really boring waiting through these, especially if I had four players going. Man, that'd be really slow. So there's a number of things that are holding this game back from being great. But overall, it's looking promising, and with a few simple fixes, it could be a great game. And if you play this game before and you're a fan of this game, I'd highly recommend you check it out in the marketplace. It's called Annexation and it's available for free with the ad supported advertisement at the top or for $1.29.